Rain looks at the brain structure and activity in relation to crime and criminals. Thompson was said to have little or no emotional response or reaction during the trial, indicating psychopathic tendencies. Either or both of the murderers could have had low activity in the prefrontal cortex or the corpus callosum. Psychiatrists argued that Harris had psychopathic tendencies and that Klebold was a depressive. Harris had traces of the antidepressant Luvox in his system. His symptoms may have been due to lower levels of brain activity involved in self-control and emotional expression. Blunt was obsessed with the video game Manhunt, showing he had an obsessive personality which could be caused by lower levels of activity in the corpus callosum and the limbic system, causing trouble inhibiting behaviour and recognising consequences. Social learning theory states that children learn their gender and behaviour through copying the behaviour of role models. One of the fathers of the boys had a large collection of violent videos. The boys could have paid attention to, retained, reproduced and been motivated to watch the films and then act them out. The two who shot down the school had an envious obsession for Hitler, displayed his symbol and even carried out the shooting on Hitler's birthday. This shows that Hitler was a role model to them. The boys also were playing and creating new levels for the game Doom. Within video games you are awarded for your gameplay possibly positively re reinforcing their behaviour. Akira's killer was said to have an obsession with the game Manhunt, which rewards players for killing. This reinforces the game player's behaviour and even creates what might be seen as a token economy in-game. A self-fulfilling prophecy is when someone is labelled by an authority figure or a peer and they live up and fulfil that name and role. Both Venables and Thompson were well known for truancy and were playing truant at the time of when they took Bulgar away from the shopping centre. If they were repeatedly named as truants and troublemakers, they could have lived up to this role. The mother of Stefan Bakira said that LeBlanc was inherently evil and obsessed with the video game Manhunt. He could have become more evil and acted out the techniques used in the game due to being called these names.